All right. Next up is a web form service. So we are going to add a web form that will create a Salesforce case when it is submitted. So to do that, we are going to do the web to case setup. So let's dive into our Trailhead playground and I'm going to search to web to case. Oops, there's a dash there. So web to case. So enable web to case require reCAPTCHA verification to prevent automated bot, but we are not going to do this because it's required um, an additional stuff. To reduce spam, require reCAPTCHA verification for customer requests. When enabled, requests without verification don't generate cases. Okay, let's enable it, okay? So default response template, I am going to use the default one and let's save it. There we have it. So now let's go to the HTML generator. So I'm gonna click that. Now you can choose what field you want to ask on the web form, okay? So email, phone, subject, description, and you can add more fields to your case object and then add it to there. So let's add, for example, I want to ask the product maybe and company name I want to know maybe. So I'm going to add that and then enter the URL that the user will be returned to after filling out the form. Well, uh, where will they go to? Okay, so I'm going to go to um, with an S, zone.io. Recapture API key pair. Well, we don't have this. That's why we don't necessarily want to use it for, let's disable that for now. Let's not use the recapture. I'm going to save that because we don't have the key. And let's not make things complicated. Go back here again. Basically, I want to add the company and I want to also add the product onto the right. And it will go back to the website, zone.io, after filling out the form. No, we don't want to recapture. So let's just make it a plain old form. Generate. So you will be receiving this um, form HTML code, right? So I'm going to copy this. Basically, I'm going to make a new page on my zone.io website that is called webform.html over here. So this is beyond Salesforce. I am not going to go in depth uh, what is happening here. Basically, I just cut and paste the entire thing you see all these access, we're going to ignore all of that. I'm going to save changes. It's saved. Now let's give it a try. So if I go zone io slash web form, which is a new page we just created. There we have it. It's a pretty ugly form. <laughs> it is pretty ugly, right? but it's functional okay so let's test dude test dude at zone.io let's crank this up a bit and then phone one two three four five six seven eight nine whatever test one two three company zone.io and you can choose the product there which we have on our playground so i'm going to choose that so why does this look ugly because it's it's a form that is raw it's not styled yet it's not designed yet this whole code is a really raw form if you know how to code um, html with css you can definitely make this really pretty with you know bootstrap or whatever a uh, framework you want to use 
make it pretty but we just want to see if it works right we can make it pretty later so let's see if it works i'm going to submit it should go back to sonot.io boom look at that it works so it's just back to sonot.io and if i go back to my original view here okay now let's go back to our playground if i go here and i go to my cases that should create a new case at the bottom there there's the detail task one two three description goes here right task dude at zone.io so the web form works even though it looks pretty ugly all right let's uh, finish this trail by doing the quiz and we are done with the surface cloud for lightning experience and this is all the other stuff we still touch the surface of surface cloud you can do call center open cti which is really cool and then self surface communities we can set up communities later on for the admin certification preparation trails social customer service you know integrate twitter instagram facebook and more awesome you can do chat bot chat automated chat embed service snap ins for mobile and sos messaging you know text messaging facebook messenger i have a lot of experience with this as well and then field service as well so these are all the wide options you can do with the service cloud keep that in mind it's all available you just need to set it up and probably buy the license all right so let's do the quiz on demand email to case accept on attachment regardless wrong converts emails to cases leads and opportunities send email traffic no oh, this is the one boom web to case generate html to send to your web developer yeah let customer submit cases to your team from a website form well that's true too right let customers submit cases to your team from a website form mm -hmm. support case fields you choose right oh maybe it's all of the above okay it looks good communities improve response times with live chat help agents log call details supports in-app assistance on mobile devices is a self-service web for you for your customers yeah i think this is the one let's see if we did it right oh one wrong on demand email to case on demand email to case um sends email traffic outside of your net yeah that's right oh my bad that's supposed to be that one now we get 50 points only Woohoo! at least we got a shiny new badge i'll see you on the next trailhead bada bing bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom